Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com. Today we are doing a day in the life, another vlog. So let's go. All right, so I just got home from drop-off, taking the middle schoolers. We do a carpooling system. So the elementary schoolers go with one mom, the middle schoolers go with another mom, and it just finished that. It's always a little bit crazy um, in the morning. So I usually wake up around 5 a.m. That's when my alarm goes off, whether I press snooze or not, um, is the question. I'm really trying not to because I heard that that's a really um, rough start. If you press snooze and your body goes back to sleep, it starts a new sleep cycle and that can be even harder to wake up nine minutes later. So I try not to. Um, so I get up 5 a.m. I go and make coffee. First thing, make coffee, drink a whole bottle of water. That's um, one of my other goals that I've been doing in the morning. And then I sit down and do quiet time, um, read my Bible, do a little bit of study, and then um, write my prayers. That's generally what I do. I do prayer journaling um, in the mornings. And then um, I run most days, not all days. Some days I'm like, I'm super over, I'm super tired. Maybe I press snooze too often. Um, so then I usually run on the treadmill, watch a show while I'm running and get ready for the day. And then once the kids wake up, they get up at 6.45. I go and wake them up at 6.45. It's like whirlwind of like flurry of activity, getting everyone with their stuff packed and breakfast and hair done and teeth brushed and all of that business. So it feels like a whirlwind. In the midst of that, I also get ready for the day. Then we take them to school and I come home and then it's time to kind of get going for work. So I'm going to bring you guys along today. It should be a pretty busy day. It's a Monday. Um, so let's go. All right. So I am coming down to the studio. It's still dark down here. Time to turn things on and get started. Um, as soon as I come home, I do like we have a robot vacuum, which I love. Um, and so I usually try to run that on the first floor because it also makes me um, straighten up a little bit. So do a quick straighten, start the vacuum, start the laundry. I come downstairs, turn on all the lights in the studio so that it feels bright and happy. And then I will grab my planner. Um, the studio is a little bit messy. Normally I like to have it clean for Monday mornings, but it did not work out that way. It was, it's been a crazy busy weekend. It feels like I've been going maybe like a thousand miles per hour since go wild. Um, so it's been really busy. And so yesterday afternoon, Sunday afternoon after church, I just kind of crashed. And so I did not come down and get my studio cleaned up and prepped for the week, but that's okay. Um, I needed the rest. I probably still need some rest if I'm being totally honest. Um, but I will, certainly find some time for that. But I've got my planner and what I'm going to do is um, sit down and I go through my daily planner. I pull out my daily sheet and I compare it with um, my work, like my work planner and my catch-all planner and kind of put it all into one, take a second. And it's also a little bit of my creative journaling time. I'll do a little reflection and then um, get going on the day. Let's do that. So yeah, this is where I kind of get my thoughts down for the day. It's a nice practice as soon as the kids go to school. Um, it's a little a little bit of creative time. Yes, I play with stickers. I decorate my page. I have a great time. Um, but then I just write out what's happening for that day. Um, and because there's just a lot, there's a lot going on with um, Scrappy Wife and there's a lot going on with the family. Um, it's a good time for me to just make sure I'm getting everything down on paper and keeping track of what's going on and keeping myself on track. So I kind of combine both of my planners. So I pull out my daily page, as you can see, and then you'll see me flip over to my catch-all planner and then to my work planner um, and kind of combining both sides of my life onto one sheet, which is why I really, really like the daily pages. If I had to write it all on one planner every 
day, um, or sorry, not every day, but every week, I think that that would probably drive me crazy um, and it would be really overwhelming. So dividing it up in the planning process, um, like on Sundays when I'm planning out what's gonna happen and then pulling it together on the daily process seems to be something that works really well for me. So I decorate and then I write, first thing I always write is gratitude, um, things that are just occurring to me um, about what I'm grateful for that morning and then it just all starts. All of it comes out, the schedule, the to-do list, all of the things, um, but it's a process I really love and then I refer to this throughout the day. Um, do I always get everything on my task list done? Nope, but it does um, lead me through the day and I try to um, prioritize certain things, get them at the top of the list and then move other things to the bottom of the list and then I jump around just depending on what I have time for and um, how the day works because we all know that that's what happens. Sometimes your day takes a different turn, that's for sure. So I'm gonna do this and then get a little bit of computer work done before I start filming. So I'll leave you guys here, let you listen to a little music while I finish this and then start my computer work. gotta love the little cameos from my husband who is home working today and then later on you'll see Penny. Um, I think most people are actually really surprised at how much time I have to spend working on a computer. I do a lot of computer work. I do a lot of design work on Canva. I spend a lot of time just organizing things and organizing media and working through um, different things on my computer. And I know it seems like I craft all day long um, and I do get a chance to craft every single day. Every time I'm filming content, I get a chance to craft, which is awesome and one of the huge perks of my job. But I do spend a lot of time at the computer. There's Penny, she's coming to say hi. She kind of comes and goes throughout the day. And then you'll see in a little bit towards the end of this video, she is now 14 and a half. So bless her heart, she cannot always get up on the chair. She won't sleep on the dog bed that I got her on the floor. Um, that that princess likes to be in a chair. So if she decides that she cannot get up on the chair by herself, she'll just sit there and bark and cry. You can kind of see her peeking in over at the edge. She'll bark and cry until I get up to go help her, um, which I do multiple times a day. Usually she sleeps all day. She has started to come down here more with me than she did in the beginning when I first moved downstairs. Um, but she gets kicked out when I'm doing voiceovers because oftentimes she decides to make some extra noise. All right, off to help Penny get up on the chair and then get started with filming. Let's do this. All right, so I thought I would show you guys before I start filming my super professional setup right here. There's my laptop. I have a bunch of files transferring because the video files I work with are so big. I have to move them every week. And um, I have my hard drive over there, but my computer plugs in right here. So those are transferring and then you come over here and I'm about to start filming some custom planner spreads. Here is the filming setup. I have my stand right here because I film 
front facing to start each video these days um because i think it's good for people to see that there's a real life person um doing these things and then over here i'll be doing three spreads today um we have this spread for griselle which will be a child's theme spread this one is for debbie she wants another um big notes spread for her creative journal and she said i could do whatever i want so Hopefully she's into this. And then we have a fun frozen and floral theme spread over here for Melissa that I'm super excited to work on. So um, I will be filming the intro. I have my paper all set up. This is how it will be. And then um, we'll get going. While I'm filming, most of the time I am watching something on TV, like the Today Show this morning. Um, so after I film the intros and stuff, then I turn that on and that's kind of my background noise. Sometimes I listen to music. Um, sometimes I watch YouTube. Penny is hanging out over there. And then if you can hear... My husband is home today and he is practicing his euphonium. So hopefully that does not um, come up on my video. All right. So that is that. Let's do this. Okay. So I just finished filming the first video of the day, which included three custom spreads. And I know I was talking to you guys about how messy um, my studio gets when I'm filming custom spreads. So I thought I'd flip around the camera and show you guys what it looks like. All right, so not so bad over here. This is Debbie's big happy note spread. Um, that happens. And then what happens is I start to pull things off. Sorry, that's Penny in the background. I start to pull things off and then they just collect in different spots around the room. And I come this way. There's Penny, so, like stuff is left open. It's just, it gets a little bit crazy. And then it gets worse after I, um, I haven't done the photography for these yet. So I got to take pictures of um, these pieces before I start transferring them. Still have my computer hanging out on a chair um, over here. It's a little, it's just, it gets discombobulated and I probably won't clean it up until after I also film another video later. But first... I need to take photos and then I'm going to address and mail the custom spreads. Okay, so I will tell you it's actually very rare that I leave during the day because usually I'm filming like crazy and I just work straight. Like from the second my kids go to school, I, I produce a lot of content and do a lot of things. So I tend to just work straight and I don't actually run a ton of errands um, during the day unless I um, need to. But I do wanna get these uh, planner spreads mailed out because one of them is for next week, it's Monday. And one of them, I think, if I'm remembering correctly, is for the very last week of March. So I wanna make sure it gets to everyone in time. So we're headed there. Um, to do that, it's about 11 a.m. now. Those uh, custom spread videos take me the longest, I think, out of any video, out of most videos, just because I'm doing a lot in those, and then I have to go back and edit it. So that was just filming. It took um, in just under two hours to film, and so I have to go back and edit that. But I think before... I edit that video, I will probably film my next video, um, which for today is gonna be setting up my planner for April. That should be a pretty quick one. Um, but I kind of went back and forth because um, I, I want, I have um, some happy planner things that are out for delivery, I think, including some purple discs that I feel like really need to make their way onto my planner. Um, but, my mail person doesn't come until um, Monday evenings. Like it's sometimes they come in mid afternoon, but usually they don't get here till the evening. So that's, um, I think I'll just have to wait. I think I will go ahead and film my April setup and then hopefully wrap up. I will see how long the uh, post office takes, but hopefully wrap up all the filming by lunchtime, edit and do that. Um, stuff right after lunch and then today i've got to start glow forging so there's gonna be some fun things coming up later but right now post office got my cute happy planner bag to carry all my goodies in which i think is super fun um, and i'm excited about it and then we'll get back to filming 
Okay, so I made it home. I was filming. Let me see if I can show you guys. I was filming my April planner setup. Um, just took pictures. I'm going to start transferring those pictures and those videos over to my computer. And then while that's happening, I'm going to go grab lunch. It's like 12.15-ish, so I'm a little bit behind watching a little planner YouTube action. Um, if you don't follow Kenya Patterson, you should because she's a lovely individual and I really like her positive attitude. So um, she's awesome. Um, this, sorry, don't mean to, that's just going to drive me crazy, but I've got to do editing and stuff and I've got to eat because I'm about to get like hangry. Um, so I'm going to transfer videos, I'm going to eat, I'm going to edit. Let's go. All right, not the most attractive look for me as I sit here and kind of stuff my face and edit, but this is what I do a lot of times. So what I'm doing here is breaking down um, what's happening in the videos and rearranging things and changing the speed and changing the lighting and adjusting all kinds of things. And I'm gonna show you a little sneak peek of that here. But I do this before I sit down and do voiceovers. Generally I am eating, watching a YouTube, um, YouTube show or something um, while I get this done. And I do this over my chair because I do all my voiceovers over at my desk. So here's what my computer screen looks like as I am editing. So every Monday, this one happens to be a Monday, I have to start a new library. I use a program called Final Cut Pro, which is kind of like a really upgraded version of iMovie. When I first started on YouTube, I used iMovie. Um, and then I upgraded to this. It allows me to do a little bit more. Um, you can see I have to start a new library because um, like I showed you earlier, I have to move everything off of my computer on a regular basis because I'm working with a lot of large size files. Um, so I do all my editing on Final Cut Pro. I import everything. I um, adjust the positioning. I adjust the speed. I cut out parts of the video that are boring and or kind of stagnant because sometimes I get distracted and I like walk away <laughs> while I'm recording and I'm working on something else. And so there's like a bunch of dead space. So I move that. I try I've always thought that I wanted my videos to be very to the point, if that makes sense. So I know a lot of people create videos where they do the voiceover as they're creating. Um, those tend to be longer. I prefer watching shorter YouTube videos. And so that's the type of video I generally make. I want it to be to the point. I want it to, um, you know, get to the lesson or get to the process pretty fast. Um, so that's why I, I edit. I try to make most of my videos anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes is my ideal. 20 minutes tends to be a longer video for me. Um, but what I do, I get everything formatted and I will do that for both videos and then I will sit down and um, go over the voiceover. So every Monday I always update the names on the call out list or the member shout out list um, at the end of my videos. So if anyone has um, left Patreon, then I can remove them. If anyone's added, generally that happens on Mondays. So I readjust that over on Canva and then I insert that into the video as well. It's a whole process. So editing the two videos that I was working on today probably took me about 45 minutes for the editing. And then I will do voiceovers and then finish the editing and then the uploading. So it is quite the process for each of these videos. And they end up being, like I said, 10 to 20 minute videos, but a lot of hours went into them for sure. And of course, here's a clip of me doing voiceovers. I always talk with my hands. So that's what I look like most days. I think the last time I brought you guys along on a vlog, I was still doing voiceovers like all over the place in my car in in my bedroom. Now I'm back in my normal spot, which I am very appreciative of. Um, a lot of times I'll mess up mid voiceover and I'll have to stop and like cut little parts and splice them together. Um, so it's a little bit crazy. And if I'm feeling especially tired, it takes me a little bit longer because I feel like sometimes I'm talking nonsense and I've, I'll finish something and go, I don't think what I just said made sense at all. And I'll have to go back and, and re-listen to it. So it's a process, but I, man, I really do like it. Um, it's, it is weird talking to yourself. I'm not going to lie, talking to a screen and talking over yourself, but I've gotten more used to it over the years. And I really like the voiceover process and I'm very pleased with the end result. So here's what's happening. I'm finishing the voiceover on those and then I'm going to edit those um, videos, meaning I'm going to fix the sound on the voiceover and then 
start rendering the video, which takes a little while. Um, and then I will move on to other things while those videos are rendering. All right, so we've reached the point in the day where I start to feel a little frantic because the kids will be home soon. I have two videos rendering right now, which means they're like processing. And once they're processed, then I can throw them up on YouTube and then it processes over there. And then I'll eventually put them out for patrons early um, and then all of that. So I, those, I can't do anything while that's happening. So what I'm going to do is do a little bit of Glowforge work because... I am trying to make pen holders that are customized for um, Happy Mail this month, but I haven't even started. This is what they're going to look like. Um, this is one without a name, but this little pen holder you put together like Ikea style. So I'm going to start glow forging some of that. And probably while that's working, I'll be cleaning up my studio. So I will do a little bit of glow forge uh, time lapse for you guys. And then I will also um, maybe show you some of my cleaning. We'll see if my phone is otherwise occupied. So um, let's get to glow forging and um, then we'll continue with the day. Hello again, back in the car. Um, it's now four o'clock. So um, I finished cleaning up some, I didn't clean up all of my studio. And then the kids came home and there was the flurry of activity. I worked on those two videos and I just posted them to you guys on Patreon and I have to finish some other things and I have to um, reply back to comments. That's what I'm doing now. I still reply to all of the comments on obviously on Patreon, but also on YouTube, which is um, hard to do these days. So that's something I'm trying to figure out how I can manage that because I, I think it's really important. Um, it's really important to me, but I'm sitting outside a middle school right now because my daughter has bassoon lessons. So I'm sitting here while she plays her bassoon and then we will go home and do a little more work and then go to soccer because that's life um, these days. So I'm going to sit here and reply to comments on YouTube and work on a few other little things. I also glow forged like seven of those uh, pen holders, which is super cool. Um, and then I got to look at my list because I did not get the things done on my list that I wanted to get done quite yet today. So we'll see what else um, I can do in between like getting home and then heading to soccer. So um, anyway, 
that's what's happening. It's a busy day. This is kind of pretty typical. Like I work, 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 work. And then once the kids get home, there's lots of activities. And so then it's like fitting in the end of my work day in the midst of those activities. Um, cause most work days don't end at two 45. Um, usually you would work until like five o'clock, but they have things going on. So that's what it looks like right now. I'm going to reply to some comments and then um, probably check in with you guys at least one more time. Maybe it's soccer tonight. So see ya. All right. I lied. Y'all aren't going to make it to soccer practice because I'm going to, whoa, that looks weird on the screen. I'm going to wrap up this vlog here because I'm actually going to edit it a little bit before I go to soccer practice tonight. Um, I hope you had fun coming with me today. It's busy days. It's it's a busy life, um, but I really love what I do. I love seeing all you guys. I love creating every day, and um, it's pretty awesome. It's a pretty awesome job. It's a busy job, um, and it's a busy life with those three kiddos. But boys have headed out to Cub Scouts. Maddie's getting ready to go to soccer. I'm going to bring my computer, work a little bit more at soccer, bring my planner, work a little bit, watch that girl um, stop some goals as a keeper, and then come home and chill for a little bit and head to bed. So happy Monday. Thanks for coming along. Um, let me know if you have any questions about how my days go or, or what I decide or how, any of that. Let me know down in the comments below. I'm thankful for each and every one of you. I hope you have a fabulous week. And as always, keep it creative.